Hi Tours, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Michelle, and I'm back with another reading. Please keep in mind that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the energies can be reversed in between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you, okay? Also, I want to thank everybody who has liked and subscribed to my channel. As you guys know, this is a growing channel, so I do appreciate the support. I do. I'm really thankful for that. I do appreciate everything. And, okay, with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you, okay? What messages? We got, stop playing games with my mind. I can't do this anymore. And then we got, oops. Keep on manifesting. It's working. And then we add, I am not going to stop until I get what I want. Then, every time I was, every time I was with them, I was thinking of you. And then we add, my family is my life, but you are my world. No, please, there's just one card or two, not that many cards anymore. Thank you. Thank you. And then we got, do you think I am stupid? Question mark. And then we got, I know I screwed up. Let me make it up to you. Oh boy, everybody's sorry this time. Why do people have to mess up and then be like, oh, I realize my, my mistakes. <laughs> Anyhow, let's take a look. So what it seems like, your person did something. This person fucked up and now they're really sorry. Uh, the stop playing games with my mind, I feel comes from your energy. You're really over this person's bullshit. So it's like, hey, stop messing up with me. Like, I'm done, bro. I'm done. Um, Spirit, can you tell me the energies of this person's, re uh, this person's energies? Sorry and thank you. We got door to spirit here. So I feel your ancestors and angels are trying to talk to you. We got the Jing Yan right here. This could be like a soul tie or soulmate connection. And we got Envy here. And happy family. So, okay. So here, um, this could be a situation that somebody in their family or your family is envious of your guys' connection. Uh, maybe it could be that their family don't like you or your family don't like him uh, or them. I feel like this could be more about you. Like their family don't like you like they don't approve this connection or they don't approve this relationship and maybe that's why this uh card is like my family is my life but you are my world is because this person is like really family oriented this could be a different culture this could be a different ethnicity however you want to call this but this person is really family oriented and they listen to their family a lot and that is what you're coming from as hey i'm done with your your games tell me are you gonna fight for us or not so with that said, uh, Taurus, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. What can you give me for Taurus, please? Thank you. So we have the Page of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Cups right here, the Ten of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, also Cups are water. I related them with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Four of Swords. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Five of Pentacles. The Fool, uh, this could be Aries or fire energy such as aries leo sagittarius as well and they can go once again more air on uh, fire sign fire sign the six of ones as the back at the bottom of the deck and the eight of swords right here i tend to connect it with the justice card which is libra as well so here i'm giving a bit given that your person has a lot of love for you but they don't stand up for you they let their family or whoever they listen to to walk all over what they want and that's why you never know what you are expecting or where are you guys going with this person because this person is kind of like a coward in a way i'm sorry i'm gonna say it just like that they don't have the pants to stand up for what they want and they are really kind of emotional as well but they go like no you have to understand that they are my family and i love them but at the same time they don't want you to leave but at the same time they don't stand up for yourself for 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 them or you and I feel like their family tends to talk about you and tends to disrespect you in ways. And he or she does not stand up for that. And you don't like that. Like, who would? With the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords right here, I feel like you have taken a lot of shit from them. You have been taking a lot of responsibility. And you have, to, you have been trying to be respectful and understanding. But this relationship is bringing a lot of suffering, a lot of stress, a lot of baggage to yourself. 
with the four of swords right here you try to find your peace you try to find your med like your ground but this i feel like you are really stressed out because you want to be with this person but this person goes around in circles because of their family or somebody talking about them only to them about you and they let that person pretty much make decisions for them in a way with a wheel right here and the five of pentacles and reverse it's been going on for a while and this person keeps promising you that no i will i will change i i know i can do better i'm not gonna let them disrespect you i'm not gonna let them tell me or dictate what i do what i shouldn't do um, i'm not gonna keep us a secret no more but again with the full card and the king of wands right here it's all promises they never do anything so that is why you're coming across as what the fuck is going on like i'm done with your with your lies like are you going to step up are we going to go somewhere or what is it going to be and that's why with the six of one and the eight of swords right here you feel like defeated you feel like you're not going anywhere you feel like you're going in circles with this person and you go like what should i do like should i break up should i forget about them like you are in a really tough and confusing situation and it's just because your person does not stand up for what they want which is like so stupid like don't understand that so what is this person's um next moves towards towards here what are they going to do now so we got the ace of cups so be expecting a lot oh yeah be expecting them to call you message you and ask you to get back together or to see you uh, they tend to be kind of romantic because like i said they're emotional in a way they will tell they were gonna they're gonna give you flowers as well with the queen of cups right here just fyi their mom that does not know about this okay their mom does not know about this or a mother figure does not know about this with the hermit right here very good energy they are really secretive really secretive with the three of ones right two of ones right here again they're not telling a lot of people but you don't know this they're not telling a lot of people that they want to see you whenever this happens so it's gonna be like a secret reunion with a tower right here but i feel like something is going to happen that somebody's gonna find out that you guys are seeing each other again or that you guys are gonna go out again and it's gonna become like really uncomfortable you're gonna receive really uncomfortable messages and it's gonna start all over again with a devil right here yeah there's a toxic connect a not toxic connection but toxic environment here toxic persona or a toxic person surrounding you both and that's why you guys never seem to make this work even though that you guys love each other even though that you guys have potential somehow whoever this person is that could be a mother figure unfortunately uh does not let this connection take off the way it should have thank you spirit with the king of pentacles in reverse um again if he or she is a really family oriented, this person could have a wealthy family or a family business, and they're telling them telling them that if they choose you, they cannot longer be part of that business or so because for some reason they feel like you are a gold digger, and I'm not saying that you are. I'm saying that's what they feel like. Besides everything else, that's one of the reasons they tell them like, oh no, find somebody that is not a gold digger, but they haven't gotten the chance to get to know you so how would they know you know but again this person lacks of strength this person lacks of pretty much standing up for themselves so again it's up to you you want to take this person but this person is it's a good person they have good qualities but at the same time they're too weak they don't stand up for themselves we got the ten of swords scorpio energy we got the knight of wands right here and the hero fun right here thank you spirit then we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles right here. So they are really hurt by not seeing you, by not being with you because they do care for you. They do have feelings for you, that's for sure. And with the Knight of Wands, again, don't be surprised that they're going to come back towards you. They're going to communicate. They want to talk to you. They want to see you, that's for sure. With the Hierophant right here, um, they have a really strong connection with you. But again, I see that there's also a religion problem here. You guys have religious, different religious beliefs, which is not a problem for you, but for them, as their family it might be as well so there's a lot of like blockages in this connection here um this person's gonna be like hey we're gonna get married we're gonna be together but with the ten of pentacles right here it's not gonna happen because their family is not okay with that and they're gonna cut them off in money so with the four of pentacles right here they say that they don't care about money that they want to be with you but at the same time they are a family person you know a family oriented person so 
I'm not sure what are they going to do because at this point they have to put family over you. And I'm not sure if he or she is willing to do that. The Empress right here, I'm also seeing that, um, again, Libra energy as well. Um, you can get pregnant with this person or have a kid with this person. And that is going to make the situation a little bit worse. Um, let's see what else. Can you clarify the Empress here? It's going to make a situation a little bit worse. Um, in a way, it's going to uh, like relieve it in a way as well. Because, hey, you got pregnant or you have a kid with this person. So they will have no other choice but, but to accept it. But it's not going to be a full accept accepting you. It's more about, well, they have a kid together. We have to make this happen, you know. With a world card right here. And the page of wands right here. I mean, there's are endless uh, opportunities for you. But, I mean... Being happy in this connection with this kind of family, if this person is not willing to put a boundary to make them respect you, it's going to be really hard for that for you to be happy. Yeah, because even if you get married, we got six of ones right here. You're not going to feel comfortable. You're not going to be happy because they're going to always make, uh, they're going to always try to make your life living hell. So... That is one of the things you have to be aware of and the 12 cups right here. And love might not be enough. Love might not be enough. So, I mean, if your person love, I'm not saying they don't love you, but it's like they don't stand up. They don't put boundaries like, hey, respect my person. And, I mean, if, if he or she lets people talk about you and walk all over you, I mean, I don't think you're going to be happy because you're not going to like that. So if you're not pregnant or so, just be careful if you don't if you don't want to put yourself in that kind of predicament, you know? If you don't mind, then that's a different story. What is the outcome between this person and, and Taurus? Thank you. We got Ace of Swords. We got the Two of Cups right here in reverse. We have the Page of Swords right here. We got the King of Cups. Again, Water Signs, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups in reverse. And again, we got the King of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords, Scorpio energy, as well as the star here. This is Aquarius energy. So it's going to be like this relationship is going to be, if it works, it's going to be a hard battle field here. It's going to be like war pretty much because a lot of people don't want you guys together. And if you guys want this, you got to tell your person that you have to put your big boy pants and you got to fight for this because a relationship is about two people, not four, five, ten. It's about you and whoever you're with. And they have to be willing to fight for this and to make this happen if they want to so bad, if they love you so bad. They have to be willing to fight for this as much as they say they are. With the Page of Swords and the King of Cups right here, he has to be, he has to stop being that scary cat and not just be like, Oh, okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll look it up. I'll, I'll see what I can do. No, he has to be freaking assertive. He has to cut the cord. He has to be like brave and be like, hey, I love my person and you got to respect this. So he has to, or she has to get her, her or big boy pants, you know, like they have to do something about their character because they are, they're good, but they are like too, like, I don't know. They're like a doormat to their family. I'm not sure what's going on here with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups right here. If this person does not stand up and they hold back and they let everybody talk to you the way they want, if they let people get in his head or her head, it does not matter how much you guys love each other, it's just not going to go anywhere because love is not enough. Love is good, but love is actually, whoever tells you like love is enough, no honey, love is not enough. Love is part of it, but if, not, if nothing, not, not nothing, if not everything is uh, together, Love is not enough. With the King of Pentacles right here. I, like I said, I'm not seeing this person being capable of standing up for themselves and you towards whoever is talking or trying to separate you both. So at this point, you have to make your decision because I don't see this person being able to stand up for themselves. I'm not saying that he don't love you, she don't love you. I'm saying that just be used to having a toxic mother-in-law, toxic father-in-law, toxic everything you know and when the ten of swords be used to uh get used to then people talking about you behind your back be really uncomfortable in family gatherings being uh feeling like an outsider that's what they're going to do even if you marry this person and you're going to have fulfillment when it comes to emotions because you do love this person and they love you back but there's also a lot of uh pain and sorrow because there's a lot of like people that you cannot trust so if this person lives in a different country and you're willing to give everything up for this person, you have to make sure it's worth it because 
like I said before, honey boo, if you are in a situation that your family don't like you, you gotta make sure that you make your you make your best decisions here. Pick your battles, pick your battles right. So let's see what messages do you, does your angels have for you. So we got look at this. Get more information. Helpful people. Thank you. We got recovery. We have if you believe. Then we have abundance. Take action. Choose a new direction. Thank you, Spirit. Don't stop. You are ready. No. Big happy changes. And the situation will improve. So those are your messages from your angels. They're pretty straightforward. Take it however they resonate best in your life situation. Like I said before. Um, but please be assertive in what is that you want and what is that you're going to do. I'm going to give you extra guidance with this other deck. These are also, also angel messages as well. So let's see what else can I give you today. Taurus. What can you give me for Taurus, babe? What can you give me for Taurus? Okay, they gave me three cards. So we got healthy life choices. And we have eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. And then we got life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And the last one says brilliant idea. Yes, your idea divinely guided. I mean, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fr to fruition. And at the bottom of the deck, it says take back your uh, take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So pretty much also stand up for yourself. Um, and before I go, I always give a number towards the end of the reading. This number is given to you by your angels or ancestors. This pretty much can be used as extra guidance towards this reading. Or you can find it as extra guidance for anything in your life that you might need extra guidance to. When you go online, thank you, Spirit. You're going to go and look as spiritual meaning of such number. Or you can go as a spiritual meaning. I mean, sorry, angel number such. So for that, you have number 95 and number 43. Those are the numbers for you. You can go with both numbers or you can let your intuition choose which one is best for you i also have people who like to add the numbers up and they make uh full numbers as well so just do as you please and with that said i want to thank everybody who has stayed around please like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with more uh readings bye